Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to be telling you how you can turn your $1 into $10 via like compound interest. Obviously I'm saying dollars, clearly I'm in the UK but I'm going to say dollars because it's just like, I'm very sure it's more like nationwide spoken so just say dollars instead of pounds because easier for me honestly. But yeah, how you can turn $1 into $10 and before any of you go like this ain't a quick route or anything, it really is not a quick route. So just in case you're thinking it is, it's not a quick route. There are quicker routes that you can try. This route of making $1 into $10 is not a quick route. Honestly, it's not. Keeping it simple, basically compound interest, you know, if you initially deposit $1 and you put it into a savings account or a stocks with a return rate of 7.5% annually, it's going to take you 33 years for that $1 to become $10. To be exact, it'll be $10.88, but it'll take you 33 years to get to that. If you were to put $10 in there, it would take you 33 years to 10 times that money again to be over $100 pretty much. Same with $100 or $1,000, it's going to take you 33 years to 10 times that as long as the return rate is 7.5%. If it's less, it's going to take you longer and if it's more, it's going to take you a little bit shorter time essentially. Compound interest is really, really important because a lot of people do go and spend their money on things that really are not important, you know, like designer clothing or technology. But again, do what makes you happy. But I personally would not spend as much on clothing as some people do, pretty much. Because you got to think, if you go to a shop and you spend like 500 quid on one item of clothing, that 500 pounds could be worth 5,000 pounds in 33 years, pretty much. And that clothing is not going to last you 33 years. As well as the fact that, you know, that money is going down as soon as you bought it. And another thing with that is definitely like cars. If you buy a car, the value instantly drops, you know. So sometimes you've got to be like careful with what you're buying. Because especially, yeah, if you go out and buy a really, really nice car, the value drops. Unless it's something, you know, like unique or a classic or something, then yeah, the value does drop. So be careful what you're buying essentially not telling you not to buy stuff but if you want to save money then obviously you've got to think around things like that there are different ways of compounding you know you can open a savings account or an isa an individual savings account or stocks you could try stocks or cryptocurrencies you know if you're going to be investing in stocks you kind of want to be looking at stable stocks that do tend to increase there are plenty of stocks that you might put in and you know your money does go down but because it's going up in the long run, over the 33 years, you will still be up that percentage as long as the annual percent is like 7.5%. Cryptocurrencies, there is a lot of cryptocurrencies where you could, you know, 10 times your money quicker than 33 years, essentially. And same with stocks, you know, there are ways to be doing that a lot quicker. But if you want a stable, more like a more stable process that isn't as likely to probably lose your money, then yeah compound interest in like a stable market or a stable account anything like that will normally 10 times your money essentially if you do keep to the 7.5 percent and obviously you've got to check what you're doing this is not financial advice this is advice but always do your own research you know like make sure you're doing your own research you do not put your money into anything that kind of like you where you will lose your money just be careful what you're doing pretty much but a lot of the time you know if you go out and you eat out Eating out definitely is something that I always look at and I'm pretty sure a lot of people will feel the same way is that you can go to McDonald's, you can get a meal out and then after you've eaten it, sometimes you can regret spending as much as you did on that food. Especially if you spent over 20 quid or 30 quid or 50 pounds, you know, you can regret spending that much on eating that much, you know, like, because in reality, like, it's just food and I mean, it depends. If it's for a special occasion, it's for a special occasion. But a lot of the time you can regret that. And that money, if you had locked that away and like, you know, put it in a savings account, that could be worth so much more. You know, trying not to touch your money for like over 30 years is genuinely a hard thing to do. But the initial investment hasn't got to be a lot. As well as, you know, you can keep adding to it. You could add it to monthly or, you know, it could just be a smaller account. It's not your main savings to pay your bills and everything like that. But it's just a smaller account that you can add to that will eventually grow into a lot more over time, you know, because $1 into 10, if you put 10,000, that's 100 grand over 33 years. And 10,000 isn't as hard to get as 100,000 is, you know, so over 33 years, that can definitely go up a lot more. 
pretty much as well as if you keep adding to it you know you're gonna have more after the 33 years as well as if you're young and if you're an 18 year old now and you put in one dollar into a savings account and by the time you're 65 that one dollar will be worth 33 dollars which is a lot but if you were 40 and you were to put that one dollar into a savings account by the time you're 65 so obviously it's only 25 years of compound interest at compound investing that's only worth just over six dollars compound interest is basically you know where like you put your money in you get an initial deposit when you get the interest amount back you know you put that in as well so if you make 10p that year your value is now one dollar ten cents and then that goes you know and then it gets up and up and up and up until that is worth over ten dollars pretty much so your compound interest you know your compound invest in it as well you can see with compound interest is that when it starts it's really really slow and then it does go like really quick because the more money that is getting invested you know the more the more money from each year that gets re-put back in it definitely does you know grow the like amount a lot quicker but compound interest is, you know, widely spoken about is one of the easiest ways to make a lot of money, pretty much. But it does take time and it does take discipline of not being able to touch that money as well. Just think when it comes to buying these designer clothes or these new technology, you know, like you might think you need a new phone when you don't. And that's a grand there because, I mean, I bought a new phone and they're expensive they really are and a lot of things are expensive but yeah if you just monitor that when it comes to buying stuff you try to you know watch what you're spending do not put it into like super expensive stuff that's definitely going to decrease in value as soon as you buy it pretty much you can save more money and then over 33 years or 20 years that money can be worth a lot more but yeah that's the thing is like about money you know just it's so hard i mean i get it you know like there's a lot of things that i have wanted to buy there has been a lot of things that i have bought and i have regretted and i think everyone goes through that stage where they buy a lot and they spend a lot but in reality if you want an easier route of having a lot more money when you're older it definitely is just compound interest you know if you want to make some quick gains then look at stock markets or crypto or look a bit more you know like money where you can flip your money pretty quick um so yeah like crypto stock markets but if you want a nice simple route that is going to take time but it's quite simple then compound interest is for you but yeah just think about it when you're going out shopping and think about the prices of things and think about how much you can save pretty much because it definitely can help contribute especially if you keep stacking it up you will have a lot more saved and i'm pretty sure designer clothing is honestly like where people make a lot of mistakes because i mean a lot of people will have a different opinion to me but i don't see nothing special about designer clothing so it's one of those things certain quality with certain things definitely does mean a lot more but you're just wearing it at the end of the day you know you're legit just putting it on your body and i mean some cheap clothes can make people look better than designer clothes pretty much keep in mind when you're spending money on shoes clothes technology random stuff even makeup that is such a thing that people do spend a lot of money on and i am a cheapskate when it comes to makeup but if you're on a quick route then definitely look into crypto or stocks or you know do your own research and you can find a quicker route but remember compounding your money will definitely make it go up or it should do at least but yeah if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe to see more of my videos come up and yeah, I pretty much do videos about anything money related, pretty much. Um, but yeah, all of my socials will be in the description so you can add me. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.